Right, hello and welcome back to another video. So this week I'm very pleased to announce the start of a new series that we're we'll doing here on the channel. Um, if you've been following the channel for a while, uh, you'll know that I've been working on these longer form tutorial series um, and I've decided to make the first part of the first materials course uh, available for free here on the channel. So it was always designed as a sort of reference library. Um, you can see here we've got different breakdowns of the different blend modes uh, and then all the math nodes and all the sort of um, fundamentals of what the material editor is capable of here in Unreal. Um, and so I think it would be a great resource to have available on YouTube uh, for everyone to use. So that's what we're going to be doing. So it's 66 videos in total um, and they're scheduled to up to be released uh, three times a week. So Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So keep checking back uh, and over the next few months we'll fill out all of those um, videos. Uh, and they'll be there available for you to follow along uh, as well as a download link to this part of the project as well so not including all the other bits that we've done uh, but just sort of the breakdowns of the material editor reference cool uh, that's all i want to say but i'm going to pass you over to me from two years ago who's going to do the introduction to the course Right, hello and welcome to this first video looking at materials in Unreal Engine 5. Um, in this video we're just going to have a quick look at the content of the course, uh, how things are laid out, where it's all broken down, um, and then we'll kind of get into the, the lessons themselves in the next video. So um, if you open up the project you should find that you are in this level here. Uh, if not, the levels for the project are all broken down here uh, in the THAL VFX tutorial section. Uh, if you go to levels, um, you will see both levels and the map build data registry. Uh, if that's fine, no problem. You can also add a filter here. So I tend to have the level filter uh, as an option um, because that's the thing we actually want is the levels, not the, the data that saves with it. Uh, so the first one we're in here is material editor basics. Uh, and each sort of topic has its own level uh, with these material spheres laid out as examples and we'll go through them all uh, in the various uh, lessons. Um, you might have quickly noticed I can jump around the scene quite quickly. Uh, I'm using keyboard shortcuts or the camera shortcuts. So up here they're called bookmarks uh, and they're just set uh, using the, the keys on the, on the keyboard or the number keys. Um, they should all be set in different levels. You only get access to nine so some of the levels are bigger than that. Um, but for quickly jumping around um, they're there. Uh, I would 100% recommend you use these in your in your work. They're a really fast way to sort of jump around a scene. Very easy to use. Move a camera, control and a number. Uh, so I've just done control five and that saved that camera view to that number. So if I then move anywhere else and press five, it comes back to here. Uh, I'm not gonna check that out. Okay. Um, to access the materials themselves, uh, each of these material spheres is a blueprint. Um, we're not going to go in and edit that too much, but there's some options in here for, for various things that we'll cover um, as we go through the various lessons. Uh, but to actually access the material, either this little button here, uh, so it's browse to in the content browser, and you can see here, nicely named with sequential numbering um, beforehand as a sort of prefix, um, and we can double click it there. Or if we just select the object, we can also just double click directly on the material swatch and that will open the material. Now, if you're on a 4K monitor, which is what these were all designed on, uh, hopefully the comment boxes will ni ni nicely uh, line up with your edges uh, and sort of point to the things in the UI that they're uh, referring to. Uh, I'm recording this in 1080, so you can sort of see and make out what's on screen a little bit easier, uh, which is why things haven't quite lined up, but um, that's probably fine. Uh, Okay, um, I think that's it for this sort of quick introduction. Uh, I will say, so the course is broken down into two parts. Uh, first half is the material editor reference, uh, and then the second half is sort of environment example material. So uh, the first half, the first section, what we're gonna be doing is kind of going through everything the material editor can do in a quite a sort of holistic way. Um, so covering every feature, covering every node, I mean, not every node, but a lot of the nodes um, with little examples, and they're gonna be a little bit more theory-based. So talking about the maths behind things, talking about um, how to sort of apply or sort of theorize and, and use these kind of like individual sections, uh, but they aren't gonna be full worked examples. 
we'll see when we get there. Um, but the idea being that these perfectly good as uh, as tutorials um, explaining what's happening, but also really good as sort of a reference. So here I've called it a reference. So if you come back six, 12 months, you don't want to have to redo an entire tutorial about how to do something. You just want a sort of reminder about what that specific node does. That's the idea behind these, um, these sort of reference here. Uh, some things are going to be very basic. Um, if we look at maths very quickly, we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting, um, but then we're going to go on to much more complicated things as well. So uh, as a set of tutorials, do feel free to sort of watch them start to the end, um, but it might make more sense to kind of dip in and out, um, use the environment examples uh, as your sort of like learning path, and then maybe come back to the reference ones when something comes up that you don't, don't know, haven't covered before, or as a sort of like filling in the gaps. Um, so hopefully that works. Hopefully that works as a sort of, um, sort of two-tiered approach to this. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, do let me know. Um, I'm available for my uh, through my email, which is on YouTube, um, and I'm always happy to sort of cover anything else that I've missed or um, explain things a bit further if there's uh, if there's stuff missing. So, okay, with all that, let's get started with the first one in the next video, um, and we're going to have a look at some of the material editor basics and sort of UI and things like that.